Hi, uh, this will be diabetes number six. It will be about vitamins. So just an introduction. We are two types, water soluble and fat soluble vitamins. Water soluble vitamins are mainly precursors of coenzymes. Yeah. So what are coenzymes? If you read, if you saw the video number five, diabetes number five, coenzymes and enzymes work together lah, for the metabolic pathway. Precursor means uh, vitamins will be transformed into coenzymes in the body. Fat-soluble vitamins, on the other hand, they are antioxidants or precursors of hormone-like substances. So they are also important for the body to function. Fat-soluble vitamins uh, will be transported attached to lipoproteins or plasma proteins, whereas water-soluble vitamins will flow freely in the blood. So water-soluble vitamins, if you eat too much, is okay because it will come out in the urine. But fat soluble vitamins, if you eat too much, they will be stored in the fat, especially in the liver, and then you can be toxic. Uh, certain minerals are also micronutrients, but I won't cover here. Today I will cover only vitamins. So riboflavin is B2, vitamin B2, is an essential component of FAD. What is FAD? Yeah, if you see uh, video number 5, FAD becomes FADH2. It is a coenzyme involved in the process of energy. So without this, you can't have, you can't produce energy. Okay, these are some of the examples of good food rich in vitamin B2. Uh, B3 niacin is a constituent of NAD and NADP. So these also are coenzymes for the production of energy. Metabolize fat, protein, and carbohydrates and glucose. So these two, uh, body uh, can synthesize. So body can produce niacin, but you need other vitamins to produce it. There are some of these are the some of the food you can eat, and uh, deficiencies can lead to pellagra. So those who eat corn, uh, corn-based diets, they don't eat flour, they don't eat rice, they just eat corn. So they can uh, have Severe, if severe deficiency, it can lead to dermatitis. Dermatitis is infection of the skin, diarrhea, dementia, which is probably the head and death. Yeah, because your body can't produce energy, ma. so you get all sorts of problems. So thiamine is thiamine is B1. Is uh, it forms thiamine phosphate TPP. This is, TPP is needed. For AKG reactions, uh. AKG is part of the TCA cycle, also part of the energy cycle. Uh, these are some of the food, and uh, they are high in B1, and this uh, deficiency is like very very where in Asia, Asia last time they stopped eating rice, uh, the rice husk. When you start to polish the rice, you lose the vitamin already because the vitamin B1 is in the husk. Right, so you get berry berry uh, last time. Uh. Um, because they eat last time, they eat a lot of rice and they don't eat so much meat, you know. Uh, so you don't have vitamins, you don't have meat, uh, so you don't have B1. Uh. So you get uh, muscle weakness and wasting, yeah. Uh, the liver paralysis of the eye muscles, memory loss, heart problems. You can even die, uh. you, you can even lead to death. So vitamin B6. It's a precursor of coenzyme PLP. These are some of the food you can eat, and but uh, there is no cases, uh, reported cases of deficiencies. This one also no cases of deficiency. Uh, it's a building block of coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is uh, part of acetyl CoA, right? So coenzyme A will form acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA is the is the center uh, of the metabolic pathway. Biotin B7, uh, it forms part of all these uh, pyruvate carboxylase, acetyl-CoA carboxylase. All these carboxylase is an uh, enzyme. So uh, other ATP, uh, other, other enzymes also. So without this vitamin, you can't form the enzymes. Okay, you can be found in all these food. Uh. These food are very rich in vitamin B7. Uh. Folic acid B9. It's also part of a coenzyme and uh, often, uh, very often, pregnancy, you have deficiency in folic acid. 
So examples of other water soluble vitamins like vitamin B12, sorry, uh, other so what other vitamins are not don't have the word water soluble there. Uh, vitamin B12 is found in animal products, so vegan vegetarians are at risk of deficiency. Vitamin C, uh, all animals can produce vitamin C except primates because primate monkey they eat a lot of fruits, so fruits got a lot of vitamin C, so they don't need to manufacture, so they lost the ability to manufacture it to synthesize. Fruit eating bats also cannot, guinea pig also cannot, okay, because they eat a lot of fruits. So um, vitamin C becomes ascorbic acid in the body. So ascorbic acid is involved in various reactions uh, to produce as a reducing agent and, and, and antioxidant. Why is antioxidant, why is uh, reactive oxygen species, right, uh, oxidative stress, all these I've written a blog post. You can check out the blog post uh, about antioxidants, why they are important, right? Because the antioxidants, if you don't eat them, you become very old, very fast. You start to have wrinkles, your skin, your cells will become very, will start to age very fast, okay? Because of oxidative stress. So vitamin A, most people know, like, because it's for the eye. Uh. Vitamin D is synthesized by the skin upon exposure to sunlight. Excessive alcohol uh, usually causes vitamin deficiency. So don't drink so much alcohol. Why? How it can cause vitamin deficiency? You see, it, it can disrupt the mucosal lining. Mucosal lining means the wall in the intestine. So it cannot, when it's irritated, the, you cannot absorb vitamins in the intestine. Lah. So a lot of vital fat soluble vitamins cannot be absorbed, will be affected, lah. not say cannot, lah. it's reduced. and. Uh, other vitamins as well uh, can be reduced. So, and it can also affect the vitamin metabolism inside the body itself. That's why a lot of alcoholics, they are also diabetics. Uh. One reason could be because of uh, vitamin deficiency or micronutrient deficiency. So, uh, so alcohol is linked uh, to diabetes. Yeah. So uh, in conclusion, we see how micronutrition is linked to health, okay? Uh, because the vitamins we need are needed to run the metabolic pathways. If we have deficiency in vitamins also, it can it has been associated lah, with diabetes. Lah. Micronutrients, I think minerals, lah. some minerals I heard like magnesium deficiency has been linked to diabetes. Uh, yeah, but certainly without the micronutrients, your body cannot metabolize the glucose so if the body cannot turn glucose into energy what happens is you have too much glucose in your in your blood so you need to eat vitamins uh, and uh, vitamins give help help us to have energy uh. so uh, so we need to eat a variety of food uh, okay i don't just eat one kind of food because it's very dangerous because some food don't have certain vitamins so the more food we eat we get the chance of getting all the vitamins, you know, is higher. So we and also uh, do some research lah. If you want to change your diet, try to research what is the better diet. Okay, thank you.